Welcome back to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. I'm Emma Telfi, and joining us today for a special two-part series on identity security is Adam Markert, CyberArk Solutions Architect. Glad to be here, Emma. To get a sense of what today's security teams are up against, let's look at some stats. We surveyed more than 1,700 security decision makers. 70% told us their organizations have experienced a ransomware attack. And the same number have experienced a software supply chain attack in the past year, leading to damage like data loss. These attacks also lead to advanced persistent threats and even espionage. Folks may be wondering, why are attackers putting so many points on the board? Well, nearly 80% of security decision makers told us that their main responsibility, security, has taken a back seat to business operations. Why? Their organizations have been consumed with the critical need to transform. They're moving business models to the cloud, they're enabling hybrid work through the cloud, and they're rolling out new apps from the cloud. The result? Well, you know in the movies when a character is consumed with some routine task and unbeknownst to them, a bunch of little creatures are just materializing and multiplying behind their backs? <laughs> yep, and usually getting into trouble. Exactly. Well, that's what's been happening in the enterprise. Behind the scenes, identities have been proliferating at an uncontrollable pace. From privileged users, third parties, and hybrid workforces, to DevOps teams and their automated workflows. All of them in a continuous cycle, accessing sensitive resources like customer and employee data. And therein lies the risk. The entry points and pathways these identities are taking are full of vulnerabilities. And more often than not, they're guarded by poorly managed credentials that bad actors can easily compromise and use to launch an attack. So we need something in the middle to secure it all. But traditional approaches aren't going to cut it. The perimeter organizations used to guard has dissolved, gone away with the cloud. In its place is a massive attack surface composed of an ever-growing number of identities. So we believe today's threat landscape calls for a new response, identity security. Identity security is a holistic, risk-based approach that secures identities of all types, human and machine, as they access applications, infrastructure and data in any environment, from cloud, SaaS, or on-prem. This new framework breaks down old barriers between three security categories that in legacy approaches often lived in silos. Access management, privileged access management, and identity management. With identity security, these pillars are now integrated, complementing one another, and contributing to a much bigger picture. So now we have seamless and secure access for all identities, intelligent privilege controls, and flexible identity automation and orchestration. Now, there's a reason we place intelligent privilege controls here at the center. In today's cloud-based work from anywhere environment, any identity, human or machine, can gain access to sensitive resources, not just the privileged users. Exactly. So with identity security, we secure privileged access in all its shapes and forms. Take session isolation and monitoring. These controls were once reserved for the network admins of the world. But with identity security, we can apply them to any workforce user who accesses apps containing sensitive data. Another example, credential management and automatic rotation. Traditionally, organizations focused on applying these privileged credentials to human users. But in today's environment, where machine identities outnumber humans 45 to one, we can also apply them to non-human users, like DevOps tools. Protections like these help us prevent credential theft, and we can apply them to workforce users as well. So no matter the use case, the objective of identity security is the same, deliver measurable cyber risk reduction for all identities accessing sensitive resources and data, all done in a way that enables zero trust, enforces least privilege, and secures not only your identities, but every transformational initiative they contribute to, so your organization can move fearlessly forward. Check out the second episode of this series for a day in the life look at three identities that we can protect through a holistic identity security approach. To learn more, visit cyberarc.com. Thanks for your time.